Well, wish me luck. I'm heading out into the bee yard about a half hour before dark here. And the main reason I'm doing that is to put these queens in. Ten virgin queens from uh, Corey Stevens. I got these on a, uh, a bulk group order. So I just picked them up. I guess they got in late. So I ran out to the guy's house, picked them up. Uh, I've got a handful of queenless colonies, some splits that I made here. Uh, went through today, earlier today, I pulled the uh, cells out of the Apame that uh, I had put the uh, easy peasy covers on the other day. I put those in a couple hives. I made a couple more splits and uh, I got everything ready for these, uh, these 10 virgins here. So what I'm going to do is uh, take you with me as I install these real quick and uh, try to get this done before it gets dark. So I use the brick system. If the brick is like this, uh, it's queen right. Show you over here, if the brick is turned this way, it's queenless. So I'm gonna go through, I've got these all ready to go. And I went through earlier today and moved a bunch of bees, did a bunch of uh, equalizing, changed some things up. So these three nukes right here are ready for, uh, for virgin queens. These first couple nukes that I'm going to do, they're pretty uh, small. It shouldn't be a big deal. All I'm going to do is pop the frames apart. So it looks like there's a queen and about four attendants in here. So I'm going to, it's got a candy plug, it's open. So I'm just going to slide this down in here. Just push it into the comb a little bit. And put it in there. Let the bees chew out the, uh, the queen when they're ready. These, que these hives here are queenless. And they have no queen cells in them. What I'm going to do is take a little marker here and make a mark. Some of these are smaller than others. I tried to go through and equalize everything today and make the nukes fairly small. Thought I saw, yeah, there's a queen cell here. Nothing in it. Okay. I'm going to hold off on this one. I see this chewed out queen cell down here. Makes me a little nervous that I, I might have a virgin queen running around in here, and I don't have time tonight to mess with that. So I'm going to hold off on this one until tomorrow when I got more time. So the polka dot, orange polka dot hive is going to wait. This one's a little fuller. Probably could have equalized this one down a little better. But that's all right. Grab one of my queen cells. So I've managed to make uh, quite a few queens myself this year, probably close to 20, I think. Uh, I've been able to sell some. I had some people that wanted to buy some queens from last year. So I sold some of my, my overwintered queens. I like to introduce this uh, outside queen stock especially these VSH queens so I've been able to do quite a bit of my own and now I'm bringing in some outside genetics which is always good and hopefully these will get mated and I can uh, 
breed off of some of these, rear some queens off these. So this was a split that I did. It was a walk away I did about eh, 10 days ago or so. And they're doing okay. They're they're building up. They should be a perfect candidate for a uh, virgin queen at this point. Take a frame of brood like this. And I did go through these already and make sure that there was no queen cells in them. And I just push it down in there like that and put it in. So this colony, I made a little light. It's literally one frame of bees. So I might lose some of this brood. It's nice and warm. It's the only plus thing. I'll put this right in the brood. And it's going to stay warm. So I'll mark this hive that they're going to get a, another frame of bees and maybe even a shake because they're pretty, uh, pretty light. Now this last colony, they've been all kinds of stuff this year. They've been a uh, cell builder. They were uh, queen right for a while. This is where I put the one queen that I found in the, uh, I found that queen in the cell builder. Um, this is where I put her. So they've had all kinds of stuff. I moved her out earlier today to a, uh, a deep colony. So they're queenless. In they go. They have one frame of uh, brood and eggs. And now they have a queen. All right, let me show you what I did with the apame here. This was my cell builder. I pulled my cells earlier today. They had hatched out, put them into colonies. So the divider's in. We've got a nuke here and a nuke here. This one's this side's coming out the back now. This side is coming out the front. I did this during the day when there's a lot of foraging going on, so I'll probably have to equalize it. But that's what's cool about this. This colony can be a seven frame nuke. It can be a cell builder like I had earlier. Here's my queen. This is one of mine that I uh, hatched out of this cell builder when I had those uh, queen cups, or sorry, queen cells in the uh, easy peasy cages. So that's a virgin queen. She's going back in. Just got to get her, you don't want to smash her, so I'm going to do this. That's a queen that they made here in this colony. So the left side here has one of my queens in it. And over on the right side, we're going to put one of these Corey Stevens queens. And yeah, the foragers all came back to this side, so this side's pretty populated and kind of agitated. And like I said, it's almost dark, so I can see why they're a little agitated. We'll put her right there. This will definitely have to get equalized. Probably pull a frame of uh, bees out of here at some point. So now this Sapame hive is a uh, 
double mating nuke. Corey Stevens on the right, one of mine on the left. All right, so I've got a couple more to do, but these are deeps. Um, that one's done. I've got to do this single over here, this one here, and this one right here. So I thought it would be in my best interest to wait till morning on those. There's just too many bees in there and I didn't feel like getting, uh, getting the heck stung out of me. So I will uh, come out here in the morning uh, just after, uh, after the sun gets going and things warm up and a lot of those foragers head out. I can light a smoker up and put the last uh, four queens in there. So what I'm gonna do is put these in the barn tonight. They have attendance and they have food. Uh, so we'll see. Hopefully they'll be okay. Well, the queens made it through the night just fine. No, uh, no issues here. I checked all uh, four of them there and they're all alive and well and doing just fine. I'm going to go put these in. So generally speaking, uh, it's usually around 10 a.m. before the sun hits the bee yard. So I don't think there'll be a ton of bees flying. There's a few right there. All right, let's get into them here. This was a walkaway split. It's been queenless for two weeks. So I should be able to just drop a uh, virgin queen in here. And let them do their thing. They're pretty full, so I'm going to go ahead and give them a super just so they can start filling up some more nectar for me. Might as well. All the frames that I pulled out, they were back filling. So I'm going to mark this. I'm going to leave this lid upside down so I can come back and put a super on it. So a good box of bees here on one side. These three are empty. So they're all shifted to the one side there. It seems pretty obvious to me with the sound they're making that they don't have a queen. They're kind of roaring. Just want to knock down any queen cells if I see one. And once I put these virgin queens in, I'm not coming back for a couple weeks. So I just want to give a quick look at each colony because the last time I'll see it for a while. So there's some queen cells right here. That one had royal jelly in it. See that? So definitely want to get rid of that. These cups down here are probably empty. Yeah, but that one was looking somewhat legit. So we destroyed that one. It's probably a great place to put the uh, put the Virgin Queen. Put her right in the brood there. <clears throat> Oh, these wax and propolis in the morning. It's not uh, it's not so easy to get apart This was a split I made it's a pretty strong split. I might have made it too strong I think I'm gonna steal this frame I had uh that single, that nuke that only had one frame in there, I'm gonna steal that one for that nuke. <clears throat> Whoa, we got a lot of queen cells here. We got queen cells everywhere. 
all over the place here. A ton of them up here. They're all full of royal jelly too. So knock these down, knock that one down. I gotta shake this frame off. Too many on there to see. Got one down here. That's full. Alright, just want to make sure I get them all. And definitely the reason why you go through the colony before you put that virgin in here. Alright, well that's what we want to see. Got it all done. All ten uh, queens have been installed. So on this rack here I have six virgin queens. The two purple boxes are mine along with the right side of the apame. And the one on the left here, the orange one, and the right side of the apame are the BSH queens that I bought and put in yesterday. Coming over here, I had to add a, another nuke. I had one extra queen. So all of these are BSH queens that I purchased and picked up yesterday except for the orange box that already had a queen in it and this one down here is one of my overwintered queens so one two three four so that's ten mating nukes between the two stands and so coming over here both of these colonies are queen right I added a uh, VSH queen to here. I added one to here and put a super on. And then this front right has a VSH queen and I added a super to her. So this box here on the left has a VSH virgin in it that I direct released. I just wanted to try it and see what would happen. I watched her for like five minutes. Bees didn't seem to be concerned. I knocked down all their queen cells and they pretty much just uh i saw a lot of them walking up to her checking her out and just walking away so i think that went well i'd say all in all things are looking good every colony has a queen in it in various states uh, honey supers are on and they are bringing in nectar pretty steadily um, supers are getting full pretty quick so I'd say all in all things are going great it's always nice to get that stuff done um, I had ordered these Queens about two months ago I think so uh, you know don't know if I would have actually ordered them today because I had made so many of my own Queens but uh, I wasn't sure how that was gonna go for me this year so I went ahead and ordered some of these so they're all in, they're installed, and now we get to sit back and wait and see uh, if they come back mated. And then hopefully we can use them for you know additional resources and things like that. Uh, I might sell a few, um, find someone that's looking for a nuke, I might offload a nuke. So we'll just, we'll just have resources here in the, in the bee yard that we can pull from, um, possibly make some money off them. Um, maybe I can build them up and uh, take them into winter. So we'll find out. So. But uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody and take care.